We all know that Sukkot is the holiday when we are united with Hashem. We go outside of our homes, we look up and we see the stars. Well, almost, except before we see the stars, we have to see some schach. What is schach? The Torah tells us that schach is psolet gorin v'yekel, the junk, the garbage from our granary and from our vineyard. Why does Hashem want us to be covered with the psolet, the junk? Another question. When we bring together our Lulav, Etrog, Hadassim, and our Avot, we bring together these special qualities. The Etrog with its good smell and good taste, which symbolically represents the Torah and good Midot. The Lulav, which has the Torah and the Hadassim with the good smell, the good Midot. We have to also include the Aravot, which represents the person who has neither wisdom of Torah, nor the good midot, the good character traits. Why do we have to include the Aravot? Why can't we just have the things that have the positive qualities? Why are we so bent in this mitzvah of Sukkot of including the Aravot, which have neither the Torah nor the good midot? I think Hashem is teaching us a very valuable lesson after we've gone through a Rosh Hashanah and a Yom Kippur, it's very easy to get dejected, to quit. Because we see that right after we accepted that we're going to get better, we still see that we make mistakes. We still see that uh, we still have some negative qualities. So one could think to themselves, I guess I'm not fit for going out to the sukkah. And when we look up to Hashem, we think, I don't really see only the stars, only Hashem. I see that I have some junk in me too. Hashem says, I know. We do have our soul in. We do have our junk in us. But I'm still Hashem. I'm still there for you. A person brings together their lulav, their etro, their adasim. We have the Torah, the good actions. But what about us? I know that I am sort of like an arava. I don't know so much Torah. I don't have such good midot. Maybe I don't belong when it comes to celebrating with Hashem. Hashem says, absolutely every single one of us belongs. We all belong in the Sukkot holiday together. Whether we're the person who has all the beautiful mitzvot and the midot and the Torah, whether we're lacking a little bit, we're all bunched in together. Our lulav, etro, gadasim, and our avot, because Hashem wants all of us to celebrate together. It's so easy to quit and say, I guess I'm just not so religious. So I might as well not really try and do whatever I feel like. Hashem wants us to know that every single person matters. We all belong under Kanfei Ashkina, under the wings of Hashem's divine presence. And we should all be able to enjoy and celebrate Sukkot together, have that extra simcha, that extra joy, that we know that we're doing all that we can. Chag Sameach.